another entertaining episode of our favorite bear vlog scene yes, if you stopped on this video on this channel we watch bear vlogs and we review them with educational and entertaining comments today we are gonna be watching some beautiful queen bring into this amazing world some beautiful beautiful baby and we are going to scream together yes get ready to scream if you can't scream then grab your herbal iced tea get energetic and get ready to scream now legs opened widely widely open yes and you can see that they are touching 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 her belly so guys why are they touching 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 her belly i gave birth in a supine position my midwife didn't touch my belly so if, if you know why her belly is being touched they are just touching 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 <laughs> they are touching 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 her belly and i don't know why her belly is being touched, so if you know why her belly is being touched, please comment in the comment section. Let us all share the ideas, alright? Okay. She's already 10 centimeters dilated, but then looking at how she's just pushing from the neck area and not from the nostril down down the perineal area. I think it's it's gonna prolong the labor. Yes, it's gonna prolong the labor. Even supine position itself for prolonged labor. If you don't know. They really prolong labor, and that is why not naturally um they give epidural. But this is actually a natural birth without any epidural. Mm -hmm. 
nakabangga na eh. Sabi ko mga... Ayan, sige, nandiyan na oh. Ayan, sumasakit yan eh. Ako! Ano kang tumalikaw ito? Diga ka. Diga. Ma, wait lang ma! Tingnan mo ka. Wait lang po! Aray, sakit! Aray, sakit! Ang sakit ma! Ang ini-init siya ako! Ibibuin? Baba ka pa dito ba yung umangat ka na eh? Baba ka dito. Iiri itay mo na matigas de. Ayun nakabangga ano siya. Ang sakit talaga ba? Just go po. Wait lang mo. Eto na. Wow! This is really really painful. This is really really painful. This is just too much. You know? Oh gosh. This is really really painful. This is just too much. You know? This is really painful, you know, beginning, uh, it was just like something else, but now I could feel her pain, you know, it's really painful. So, so at this stage, you know, they should allow her husband to be there. Yes, her husband needs to be around to, to, to hold her and encourage her. Yes, to hold her and encourage her. This is too much. As she, she, she is in that position, she's, she, she's just... Holding her legs, her legs backwards. Oh my! Oh my! This is so painful. She really needs to relax, 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 catch her breath. And before she pushes, not, not, not to cry and cry and cry. When you cry and cry, the baby is never going to come. When you breathe in and catch some rest and breath, you can actually push it. Yeah. Take Although we advocate, or I'm, I'm trying to preach over here that every woman must advocate different kinds of birthing positions when they visit birth centers or hospitals. In fact, lying on our backs are mainly, mainly the main positions in which a lot, a lot, a lot of hospitals and birthing centers choose. Yes, that is, a lot of women have no option than to lie on their back because this is the reason. This is because they do not have a birth plan. So prior to going to the hospital, you need to have a birth plan. You know that's okay. So if there is an emergency, this is where I'm going to go. But if that is not an emergency, this is where I'm going to go. So, you need to let all the places where you think you're going, all the medical practitioners, the doctors or the midwives, they need to have your birth plan. So, inside your birth plan, you must, you must note that you would love to try other birthing positions that will suit you other than the normal or the widely accepted supine position. Wait when you lie in your supine position, your, your, your labor delays. That is one thing. Because circulation of blood is, is distorted. It's like, it's slow. Circulation of blood is slow. Okay? And then, um, 
it becomes painful. Labor becomes painful because it takes long. It takes long. And then contractions delays. It delays contractions. All right? But anyway, if you end up like that, if you end up like that, there is a trick. There is a trick that you should know. Oh, these are the things that causes perennial tears. You know, when that thing is painful and your body is refusing to push and your contract you're not contracting and you have to be pushing by force and that is what causes high degree perennial tears yes so guys we are not just preaching that that sleeping in a supine position is is is, is um is should be less should be lessly practiced but then you know we should do more movement to help blood circulation and then to help the perineum to open by itself all right so that the baby can come out so when you lie in your back and your contraction is delayed and you are not able to push during contraction and you have to push from your neck like like that you start bleeding and that is where they just put their hands there just to manipulate the area and then you have to go under guys we need we need to we need to learn a lot of things so like this mother needs to be allowed to move you know she needs to be allowed to move for some time in the labor world so that when she feels like i want to push that is what she should push that she, to reduce lesser episiotomy so she's actually passing through so much pain so what i'm trying to advocate guys what i'm trying to advocate here is for mothers to feel lesser pain okay um there's a difference between suffering and then pain this is suffering this is suffering yeah birth is painful but we shouldn't suffer i think the baby's head is out She's holding, she's holding the baby's head. God, oh, she's holding the baby's head. Hey, no, she's holding the baby's head. No, let me relax. Let me relax. Let me relax. Let me relax. Oh, oh. all right. So, uh, uh, so the question, question, I'm not a midwife. Question, should the baby's head be held? and then pushed is there a way to make room in the pelvic outlet from side to side in any position is there a way to make more room in the pelvic outlet from side to side in any position that is the question so for instance we have the supine position is there any way to make room for the pelvic outlet because I know that when you stand, gravity helps to make room for pelvic outlet. When you squat, gravity helps to make room for, for the pelvic outlet. When you kneel and you put your knees together, this is what happens. And when you lie in a supine position and you put your knees together, this is what happened that there is a magic that happens all right so when you stand the gravity 
helps the pelvic floor to what? To open, making way for the baby to drop. When you squat, it is gravity. But when you kneel and when you lie on your back, what happens? Let's watch the next video and I'm going to give you a trick for the mamas who uh, don't have any option than the supine position or better still, kneeling position if you love to kneel to bed. I'm going to give you a trick. All right? Stay tuned. <laughs> His head is out already. The baby's head is the baby's head is stuck there. The midwife did it. The midwife did it. The midwife did it. She pulled the baby out. So the midwives actually help us first moms pulling the baby out. And then the adverse effect, we get stir, stir degree stirs, and we don't heal faster. All right? We don't heal faster. So say, congratulations! Congratulations to our mother. She's now a mother. She passed through so much pain. She passed through so much suffering. She has done well, but she suffered. She has done well. Congratulations to her. Congratulations to the midwife. She has done so well. But you know, when you have information, when you have idea of what you want to do, you prevent suffering and you prevent too much unnecessary pain and then you the midwife does little work you know and then the adverse effect is faster healing you know you the mother you don't have perineal tears you know you are happy you don't suffer you, you, you just glad to meet your baby. <laughs> I remember when I delivered my first baby after delivering, I was like, look at her mouth. <laughs> that is what I said. And my mom was like, what? what are, why are you telling the baby look at her mouth? And I was like, I'm so fed. And she's like, but we all so fed. <laughs> so do you know, do you know what happened? I got epidural and I got episiotomy and then um, a catheter was passed under me and then I passed out. You know, all those kinds of uh, like a whole lot of things together. So I was really, really stressed. And when I met the baby for the first time, that is what I said. And in fact, I couldn't, I couldn't bond with the baby for like three days because of the suffering that I suffered. Yeah, because of the suffering, I couldn't bond with my baby. So, you know, when you learn some tricks, when you learn some secret tricks and you deliver your baby without suffering, without pain, you can bond with your baby while you will heal faster, you become happy, you can bond with your baby, and then you live happily ever after. So let me tell you that secret when you lie in a supine position. Secret number one, do not allow the midwife to use the fingers to, you know, I don't, I don't go any further. I hope you, I hope you get an idea. All right? No, do not allow that because it causes smaller, smaller, smaller tears. 
and then you need to insist that you don't want this episiotomy yes and you know you need to insist that you don't want epidural because epidural can make you numb can make you nauseated can make you itchy you recover slowly they will put catheter under you it increases your blood pressure and a whole lot and lastly when your midwife tells you the baby's head is out this is what you do knees together knees together yes that is the trick knees together put your knees together like that not like this like that that is the trick oh, i learned from my my new midwife you know when i'm going to deliver again my new midwife and my new doctor the new the kneel together trick even if you are in a supine position this is what it does let me tell you okay Kneels together trick opens the pelvic outlets across the more narrow part of the ova. If the baby is too high, then opening your knees is more suitable. But if the baby is still high, if the doctor or the midwife haven't told you your baby's head is here, then opening your knees like this is suitable. Opening your knees like that is suitable. But whenever the, the doctor the or doctor, the nurse tells you, your baby's head is here, then you close your knees. Close your knees because it opens the pelvic area. It opens the pelvic area. Alright? I have a video and I'll show you how the pelvic area opens. So, if you kneel, when you kneel and your baby's head is out, Close your knees together. It will open your pelvic area. Yes, that is the trick. So if you are in a supine position, don't allow the midwife to pull the baby. Just close. Pull your knees together. Bring your knees closer together. And the baby will come out. Simple. Your baby will come out. So, open whenever Open your knees when your baby is still up, when it's not down the pelvic bone. But when they tell you your baby's head is out, then there is no need for the midwife to put the hands there or cut the, 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 the perineal area, the area between the, the anus and then your vagina to be open. No, close your knees together. And when you close your knees, your pelvic area is going to open. I hope you love my trick. <laughs> it's a very effective trick. Try it. And comment below your results. You can also do your own research. That is the research that I did. And a lot of women have, have on Facebook have enjoyed that. Yeah, they have. It has helped them relieve them from stress. From a lot of episiotomies, epidurals and a whole lot. So guys, this has been a very, very beautiful episode. It has been so, so, so much. So um, the women who have no option than visiting the nearby clinic for birth, yes, who do supine position. This is the little secret and you can use it. I'll see you in another video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning up with me. Mwah. Cheers! 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 As you already know, I love to take Herbalife Nutrition. It is the best nutrition in the whole world world. And I'm in love with it because it gets me energetic, detoxifies my system, kiss me so 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 much younger somebody asked in the comment section why do you take 
What do you think that keeps you younger? Because you don't look like a mother of two. Yes, I don't look like a mother of two because I take the best nutrition in the whole wild world. And that is Herbalife Nutrition. So today, you are going to enjoy it with me. If you want to purchase any of the Herbalife Nutritional products, kindly get my WhatsApp link. It is an international product. It is in the whole wild world. And I would love to coach you, to be your coach. Yes, I am an independent Herbalife distributor and I would love to coach you, especially if you are a postpartum mother, if you just delivered or you're pregnant or you're just like me who love to stay fit. Yes, I'll be ready to coach you. Kindly grab my WhatsApp number or tap the link on my Telegram. So that we can run this healthy nutrition together.